We gotta grind, man. Get back to work. <laughs> I forgot to save. Oh, it's fine. We just got. I guess we have to go. Hey, good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Not a bit soon. Why? Did someone famous get killed at the New Year's party? No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey, no, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back, see? And you come to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, is he? Told you. We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby, let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before it. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. It's a first weird to ask this of you how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I understand. But please, I really want to talk to you, Gabby. Well, I like her has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm, the 31st is written on different handwriting. Handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when you would be relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you said yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea, but now that I think about it. Boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. Wh why? Because I don't, I don't really want to face Gabby again. Sigh. Now it's all coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years? Fear and shame. Shame that because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to face your mistake. And fear of what they might say. Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby's in the right to hate me, but I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'd never tell me that. And Jill, you idiot. Huh? You're thinking backwards. You think the letter says she wanted to understand you? If you bail on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Can't you just say to Armitage that you've Hated feeling like that? Huh, armor touch? Titty hacker. Alma, right. <laughs> I don't know what happened uh, when you fought with that girl's sister, but now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hate a feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyway, let's start the day. Thank you, boss. Time to make drinks and save life. Oh, uh, you, you guys are still here? Seriously though, it's the second note that stirred such feelings to me. Second one? Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one's from Lenore. Uh, what's the envelope that you took away from me in panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? <laughs> Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Yeah, true. Maybe. Don't push her, chief. Boss. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. Thank you, boss, for believing in me. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> Crisscross applesauce. Okay. Keep it up, Jill. Thanks. Happy holidays. Okay. Someone's happy. We had a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing the Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There were this there was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, please. What? You look so happy. I'm happy too. You shouldn't have happiness. Uh, anyway, can <laughs> you need to make Cobalt Velvet, please? Sure. Who came? Oh, not Gabby. Cobalt Velvet, it is. Uh, she's distracted now because I didn't buy the thing. We're going, we're going cheap now because we need to be able to afford the thing. I don't know if we, how much we're going to get if we do it like perfect, but um, we got to, you know, we got to do our thing. Five, bam. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? You should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and I was coming here too. Sadly, I couldn't stay for long. I had some errands to run. How's she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her panties just so often. What about her eye? Hi? Oh, ears. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean. What? What did it? What just happened? What? What was that? What, what the heck was that? Oh, I accidentally did that. Whatever. Uh, I can't go back because you can. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, something about say she's kind of like upset. Who can blame her though? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists, and she said she's used as a disposable pawn in the bank whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will make her go back to her old ways. Old ways. There was a rough spot when say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, and her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. 
Today is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. She didn't even go to. She didn't even graduate high school or college. I remember. She said she was not very bright, whatever, which is not true. Say is smarter. She just needs to give her some credit. She just she just learns differently, you know? That's just that happens, okay? Not everyone learns the same, and that's okay. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but they would have wait, they would have offended her. Oh, she's always been against doing being labeled as special or different. Anyway. Say it was totally different during that period. Huh. What? Foul mouth, short fuse, always frowning. It's a little opposite of how she is nowadays. And that's from time to time I see the old look across her face and it scares me. Comparing her to her teen self, though, people mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say's no Say knows better than to go back to that. Hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Give me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Focus, Joe. Focus! It's not the third verse yet. Stop worrying. Uh something cold and sweet. Something so just something on the rocks. With um let's see, Sparkle Star? No. Blue Fairy? No. Moonblast. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. Uh, one of two of these on the rocks. And one, two. I forgot the powder, powder de delta. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. One of these. One, two on the on the rocks and blended. Two, three, four, five, six. Bam! Moon blast. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff say asked for, you know. Now that you mention. <laughs> I think a safe family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? What a mess they try to fix over time. I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in that situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently things got nasty when Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At the point she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. <coughs> things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. Oof. She still used a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here, Say was born, she started her veterinary clinic. So did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days to Say managed to scare him off. How? She beat him to near death three times. <laughs> Sorry, I can laugh. I shouldn't laugh, but oh, don't worry, I laughed too. Dramatic irony there is delicious. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe, and the cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have a security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's just too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel like there's people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel like warmth there, uptown. There's, I feel a warmth there that uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Oh. <laughs> Wrong voice, my bad. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that too. But I just want one. I'm asking for one, adding one to your order. Oh, all right. Who came? Oh, not Gabby. Oh, she just... Oh, poor, poor Jill as well. She's just worried, like, about, like, Gabby if she's distracted. This would, like, realistically have you distracted as well, like, regardless if she bought something or not. Realistically, you pro like, in this situation for me, like, me, I'd probably still be distracted, like, whatever, you know? Uh, because, like, that, that's huge, man. That's a big thing. Three, four, and five, and two beers. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks. Say, you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You didn't have again this year. They were asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you Say when they call me Auntie Stella? <laughs> I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave. Mom worked overtime that night. I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks, and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and paw stuck inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. They needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. Uh, We'll have a news party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it'd be better than depressing myself with, a dad wo with my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. I'll be there. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful. He's coming in. <laughs> want to come, too? I'd love to. I also make it for the not coming last time. How's the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Yeah, it's fun. Broke some glasses. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? True, yeah. Can I get you something? Something classy. Who came? 
Oh, not Gabby. It's still still say. Okay. Nothing nothing changed. Classy piano man. I feel like a piano man. Uh classy. Is that is that not classy? Grantini it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. Three of these all aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in qu quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday. Oh yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? It's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got it into her head that being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That, that made us like giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation. <laughs> well, the story says the Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit, but that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. That girl was delusional. I <laughs> the kid. Huh. Speaking of things when you did, you were young. Stella mentioned she's worried about you not going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you're angry or something. Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried. I don't want to go back to those days like just like that, though. I mean, I face the same situation. I'm more mature, you know. I'm not a teen anymore. Check that as much. Hold her as much. Hold on a second. There's a, there's a bit of a ruckus. Wait. You hear that? They're going crazy. Someone has arrived. They're going kind of crazy. They're not really that much. Okay. Um, <laughs> you probably hear it. They're, they're, they're funny. They're little guys. Wait, if I press tab. If I press tab. Oh my god. I can go back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Can you give me something bubbly? Sure. Who came? Not Gabby. And if I do, I can't do it here, but. Wow. Get you a frothy water. I really give my like it. One, 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 all aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. Frothy water. Here you go. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey, Jill, this might seem a bit random, but do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I didn't mean to ask you about that story. How was your other experience with the White Knight? If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh. Um, she came here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. And at first I thought she was another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. <laughs> what kind of case was it? No, I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea what she was talking about. I suggested that she asked the vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climbed on them. She got her info and she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. Makes her kind of jealous. No, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if a cue was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can comp compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you served weird. I mean, really. Just to... Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with white knights until I met you. It means you had a nice life then. I sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Do some again? I'll go take my break, Gil. Sure. Cool. Let we're chilling. Bam, day 15. Making plenty of progress. Finish this day up and that'll be it for today. I just want to get into the game because I, I missed it, man. I missed it. It's cool. Bam, bam, bam. Logan Paul. Logan, I mean, I'm Jake Paul, Jake Paul, ooh, Tyson. I wonder if I left food for four. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm it. Dorothy. Girl, you gotta tell me what's going on. You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking, huh? Ah, oh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. The you, you, usual. <laughs> uh, piano man. Piano man it is. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. On the rocks. Blend it. That's all of it. Yep. Two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. Here you go. Ugh, this is bad. Bad. But why? <laughs> okay, you're freaking me out. What's with you? Hey, honey, do you know what's real? How so? I mean, do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How do you tell if you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually your fabrication? What tells you not just a simulation in the computer? And those ponderings brought you to the bar. What? Oh, I'm in the bar. <laughs> Am I? 
Dorothy. Are you having a syphilistic crisis of sorts? Syphil what? S Syphilism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that's another thing right there. That word. Syphilism. That doesn't even mean... What does that even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace meant alone and ips means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that lots of people just around me decided to make noises and decide, Hey, let's make this noise mean this. It doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time. They stop making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just semantic satiation. Stop making up words, honey. And this is counted. How can I be sure this counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on, I'm just making sure. Focus, Joe. It's not the 31st yet. Stop worrying. What do I even get this lady? <laughs> do I even get her anything? What? What do you mean? She didn't even order anything. What is? What? What? I'm gonna get you a bleeding, Jane. You might like that. One, two, three. One, two. Three. Literally, nothing happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, you know what? I messed it up in here. Let's get her a blue fairy. I feel like she might like a blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One of these all aged and mixed. Get her a karma tree. She needs to relax. Relax, girl. Three, four, and five. Blue fairy. Stop standing the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's why? Really? So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you leave this? When did you have this existential crisis? It's earlier today, I think. I don't know. It's all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. And wait, 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 wait. We missed something, but we know what we could do. How much fun I was having. How much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? What are these, are these feelings real? Is all that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if it's just, what if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking he has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's human. I've been there, Dorothy. The existential doubt and crisis, the uncertainty about whether or not things are real. This is a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch, and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book, The Last Ring of the World, one of my favorites. At one point, I cried with the book, and I realized I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. I didn't care less for them. I couldn't, I, yeah, I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that, too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Heh, <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> cool. Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. <laughs> and it burns and itches a bit. I guess you a towel. Really refer to Dana as... Oh, I've been here before. Master... Mr. Master... Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? He's my boss. I'll get it for you. Alright, send here, please. Yeah, it's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. <laughs> hey, honey. Hmm? That big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> okay, what do you bother to do with such a thing? I don't know. She'll cook it, brush it, chop it. Honey, seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe you should prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> That's funny. That's stupid. Uh, seriously, Jill? It's the <laughs> making. She's the one making the joke. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway. We all know if we dare to cook this without a permission, he'll, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. You might have another delivery, you know? This is, this is the last one, actually. I accept your offer. I have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Okay, sunshine cloud it is. Uh, let's get a sunshine cloud. One, two... Joe, focus! Stop the sunshine first! Stop worrying! Seriously, pull it together! I guess you're a karma train, just to like... Just, just, to, just to feel something. Uh, and blend it too. Four, five, and six. There we go. Sunshine cloud off you. Here. Thanks. Uh, okay. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You have to call me Darling for the right amount. Yeah, Dorothy. Why'd you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. That way, Lilum? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? I like men! Girls! I want to see men! Uh, okay, now that there's anything wrong with liking women, but oh, don't worry. I wasn't hanging on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see, or let me see, honey, you're laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. That made me happy, I don't know. If it was what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. 
uh, glad to help, I guess. Oh, good calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. Get out. Seems like a nice girl. I don't mean it to sound like I. Uh, I get it. I get it. Don't worry. You guys, you like guys. It's sweet. Speaking of you, I'm speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Uh, have you been to the motor district? I spend all my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? So I, so I remember, no. Uh, well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also semi legal league going down there. There is a semi legal league going down there. Semi legal. The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on, but they don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engine, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about it? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Do they? They look intimidating enough, but the truth is, nobody's facing them directly. However, nobody wants to be the one that gets beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. Her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Huh. Okay. Want anything else? I have a piano man. Alright. Who came? Okay. Uh, piano man it is. Do one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three on the rocks and mix. Two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam, bam. Here you go. <laughs> this is nice. This is going to be weird, but do you believe in replobots? Replobots. It's a belief that some little mouth are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human, that someone or something replaces those humans with such little. Thus, they call them replobots. You know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. Well, this is the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I was running over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. And I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. And I went to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there almost immediately after the whole thing. He was there the whole time. Maybe it was someone that looked like him. He had the same looks, clothes, and mannerism. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see one. And you saw the kid Lilim here. You could easily pass off as humans. There are Linum to idol singer singers nowadays whose vo voices can pass off as humans. They can be passing off as humans on their own very own noises, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different. You can to tell someone's a Lilim because they seem... How do I put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risk with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. I'm leaving. Thanks for everything. Let's come again. What's your take on the Replobot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I really I reached a conclusion that might we might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. I'm a I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do crap against them. So I'd have to live without being afraid. Because the memories of not being afraid would be my only solace when the Nebula-like crabs invade. Or I mean when the rep rep, rep, rep libot comes. Gee, are you afraid of aliens? Part of it uses to be afraid, didn't you catch? Right. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered that I have a sense of humor of an eight year old. Did anything new happen? Hey, <laughs> they brought you a package. Ah, oh, yes, my curated wiener. It's a gift from my folk. It's late in customs, but here it is. You guys want some? <laughs> you want some of my wiener? That's a new one. Started bursting out laughing. We got a mistake. Bursting out laughing. Have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. <laughs> Crazy. I always have wondered if Mikey Nagos actually bring luck. I want to prevent her from, buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. You've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> Wiener. Okay. All right, buddy. Uh, let's see. What about you? The bar called. Uh, ooh, this is about us. Uh, the bar called Valhalla. Is it any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Work. Huh? Everyone is in need, just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a bit of a dick. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can tell you if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you already had a conversation with it. Did she reject your advances? No, I just heard from a distance. So is that a no? Kind of. I mean, if you're just going there to chat, I just want a place to chill for a bit. I mean, new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? No. Bummer. I think I'm going next week then. Sounds good enough to me. So I'm full of myself? You are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for. We have, we're halfway there and we're like, have two days. We better lock in. The final remaster leads to video game charts. Wait, if I reset the drink, does that count as a mistake? I never knew that. The newest remaster of Y 2016's Y2K. Most modern RPG opens the charts of this week with a 3.5 million coffee copies copies shipping his launch day. Other titles this week include new releases such as Hatsune Miku, 
project remaster and Sting's face remastered. Full track including lifetime sales. Y2K final remaster 3.5 mil new. Hatsune Miku, that's funny. Project remastered 1.5 mil new. And Sting's face, yeah, yeah, these are all, yeah. Dang it, Ron Paul and Water Pro Wrestling G. This is the first final this year. Woman marries anime pillow. Uh, nobody's actually surprised. I remember a time like this and wacky stuff like I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't help but think of how mundane it's become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies. The tradition of views on human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow had come had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's just a plain generic anime hug pillow. Yeah, but the times, Grandma, wanna marry me? Can't marry your own son. First space colony to develop its own army. Um, even though space was imagined as the promised land, the place where humanity would start over, it looks we're about to repeat our makes mistakes from the past. The first space colony, Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in talks to develop its own privately owned army. Following alleged threats from a notorious terrorist terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. Most, yeah. We'll have an army and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimed in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let, don't let the Outer Paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they can have more control over the population. Alice Rabbit's in space too. Amazing. Okay. Let's save. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna have to be, hope for the best. We hope we get enough money. We get to freaking lock in. That's like, we're struggling now. But that's okay. Can I see the boss? No, I can't. Boss is there. Okay, I think we're good.